Welcome back to Brent Hang, I'm Brent Barnett. So, we're back out in the warehouse, which means one of two things. Either we're getting the shaft, or we're building a rack. Or both. But we're gonna be building a rack for drummer Tristan Bowden from the band Chicago. Tris has been with us for a long time. He's an amazing drummer, an amazing guy, and um, he's got an amazing rack setup. Now, we're not redesigning this, but we're rebuilding it. More of like a, a duplication, triplication, quadrification. Is that even a word? Anyways, we made some updates to it, and we're gonna show you the process. So here we have the full-blown Tristan Bowden rack in all its glory. You guys have probably seen this out on tour before because we've had this design for him for the last 10 or 15 years. This is something that he likes, he loves the design of, so we wanted to stick with it. There are a few different variations though. You know, things get added and taken away over the course of the years when you're playing, so we made a few modifications. But we're using 8, 10, 12 drums right across the front, 14, 16 floor toms, a 14 inch snare, 22 inch bass drum, and then we've got a side snare on the left hand side. Now for crashes, he's using two crashes on the left hand side, two splashes, we have a ride cymbal, then we have another crash, and then a china, and then um, we've got some big tubes right here for some overheads. Now obviously these are not his drums, they're mine. We started with this already pre-built, and we're gonna Tarantino this thing and start from the beginning. So here it is, all the bars taken apart, separated out on the floor. This is a lot of pieces. He's not gonna actually travel with it like this. They'll probably break it down into three or four different sections, put it in a road case and roll it on and off the truck. It saves time when you set up. Now I know this looks a little scary, but it doesn't have to be broken down this far. I just broke it down into individual bars so I could show you my process on setting it up. First thing is we have to build the front portion of the rack, the part that goes right around the bass drum. This is the most important piece because it creates our stability. Every bar on this rack, with the exception of the T-legs, is curved. We've got curved front legs, we've got a curved crossbar right here. These front legs are 30 inch curved verticals that follow the contour of the bass drum. Now I used a 46 inch curved bar right across the top and I got it as flat as I could. It's impossible to get things, a bar completely flat when using curved bars for your verticals because they're coming off at different angles. You've got a different angle coming this way, coming that way, coming this way. It's not gonna happen. You can get as close as you can, so don't drive yourself crazy. Next, we're gonna add our left side extension, which is gonna create the bottom tier. So the left side extension is a 46 inch curve bar that I attach to the front left curved leg. Now the back leg is a 24 inch curve bar that is supporting the side extension. Now the back leg is not straight and how I got it to look straight up and down is I had to change out the clamp that was on the T-leg. Normally the T-leg assembly comes with um, a right angle clamp that'll, that creates a right angle from one bar to the next. This I used the SCGCRA which is the adjustable right angle clamp and it allows you to pitch the bar off at different angles so that I can get this curved bow look and the top of the bar goes straight up as opposed to shooting off towards me, which wouldn't work at all. To complete the basic form, the basic structure of the rack, I'm gonna add the right side extension now. For my right side, all I did was just mirror what I did on the left hand side. I've got a 46 inch curved horizontal bar, a 24 inch curved back support leg. Now, I had to use that nifty right adjustable right angle clamp on the back T-leg so I could get the back support leg at the proper angle. All three sides are now put together, and this is the basic structure, the basic frame of the rack. Now let's build up. Now, all of Triss's symbols are mounted to the second tier on each side extension. We're going to add the second tier on the left side right now. So our second tier is a 36 inch curve bar. Now it's offset from the original bottom tier and we're not sharing the same legs that the bottom tier is. We created our own supports which were made out of 24 inch curve bars. Now the back support I cut a little bit because I wanted it flush. The, the, front, the front support 
I let the bottom hang out a little bit because it's gonna go perfectly in line and look great with all the ribs that are gonna be coming down that are gonna be holding the cymbals. So it's gonna have a great look and the effect in the front. Now, because this tier is kind of bowed this direction, kind of like a bowl, all the weight is gonna be, gonna be heading outside of the rack. So I use this bar, which is a 30 inch curve bar with a mini T-leg attached to support the weight from falling over. So now the rack's gonna be extremely sturdy. For the right side, we're just gonna mirror what we did on the left side. So now the left and right sides are identical, except for this back vertical support and the clamp attaching the crossbar to the vertical support. On the left sides and on, part of the, on the front of the right side, I use the T-leg clamp to attach the horizontal to the supports because it allows me to make basically a 90 degree angle and keep everything in line with each other. I needed for this support bar to be longer than the other side because I want to, he wants to be able to mount a cymbal or a mic arm directly out of this. So it needs to stick up a little bit higher. The stackable right angle clamp allows you to do this. I was able to attach the top tier directly to this vertical bar without offsetting the bars. So now we're gonna attach the legless snare stand. So now all we have left are the ribs that are gonna hold our cymbals and mic arms. And this little extender. Well, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did building it, which I doubt that you did because I was the one that built it and it was more fun for me than than you guys watching me. But anyways, if you guys want to see this rig more, go out to this, go out and see Chicago. They're an amazing band. Hey Tris, that was a little plug for you. You like that? Anyways, make sure that you guys continue to watch because we got a lot more rack videos coming your way. We got a lot more builds, maybe some keyboard stuff in the future, some DJ stuff in the future. Who knows? It's gonna be rad. Make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment and let us know who your favorite Ninja Turtle is.